Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening everybody. In this video, I will teach you how to install Reshade for Cyberpunk 2077 and get it running along with OptiScaler. But, if you are here just to install Reshade, that would be no problem at all. You can follow along with the guide with no problems. Alright, now first thing you guys want to do, if you have OptiScaler installed in Cyberpunk, just go to Steam first, right click on Cyberpunk, go to Manage, go to Browse Local Files, Bin, and then X64. This is only for the people with OptiScaler installed, and then go ahead and find the extra DLL to make sure this is OptiScaler, click on it, right click, go to Properties, and go to Details, as you can see this is OptiScaler. And then you guys want to temporarily disable it by renaming it something like dxgi underscore weight dot dll. This is so we can install reshade because reshade uses another dxgi dot dll file to put into bin x64. And it won't install if there's another dxgi dot dll file, in this case OptiScaler, inside the folder. Now the next step, this is where we actually install reshade. Go open up your browser, search up reshade.me And then for the simplest install of reshade, just scroll down, click on download reshade 6.5.1 This is the latest version as of posting this video Click on that, as you can see, a .exe file Click on it, should pop up right here, there it is And then cyberpunk2077 And then click on next, click on directx 10, 11, 12 as you guys can see, there's a bunch of effects, and what I generally recommend is uncheck all and then check all. That will check everything. And once you're in the game, actually, when you install Reshade, you can experiment with these effects, see what you like, and then click on next. Just wait for it to install. I will see you guys in a bit, as this can take a little while. Now, as you guys can see, we have successfully installed Reshade into Cyberpunk 2077. Congratulations. But for the people that have OptiScaler installed, you want to click finish and then go to your x64 folder as you guys can see there's reshade right here the new dxg the dll file just click on properties if you guys want to check details there it is cross size reshade what you guys want to do now is put this at a lower priority than optiscaler so rename it into d3d12.dll and then what we did to optiscaler before dxgi underscore weight dll you guys want to rename it back to dxgi.dll So now you guys have Reshade and then OptiScaler running Now guys, once we have Reshade installed to actually get a Reshade preset You guys can use the Reshade I personally use or a different one Which is this one, Graphics Reshade. Just click on Mod Manager And then once it downloads, it should be in your Vortex Mod Manager There it is, Ultimate Nova Graphics. This is the personal reshade that I use. Now let's go launch Cyberpunk. Alright guys I'm at the main menu and as you guys can see at the top there it is reshade 6.5.1 so open the panel up just click on the home. You guys can go through the tutorial if you want but I already know what to do so I'll skip tutorial and then here it is. And to click the reshade preset sorry to turn on the reshade preset that you actually installed just click on this up here and then I will turn on my personal one that I use, Ultimate Nova 1.0. Select it, there it is. It automatically puts all the effects in. Now we can close that up, and as you guys can see, we have OptiScaler running as well. So let me continue real quick. Let's wait for it to load in. Alright. As you guys can see, I have OptiScaler running. Let me turn on FSR4. And we have Reshade. Now you guys can customize it however you like. Turn on blue like that. Turn on motion blur. Any effect in here, you guys can turn on and experiment with. And see what you like. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys understood it. Once again, I hope you guys are having a good morning. Good afternoon or good evening. God bless and stay safe out there, Jews.